Big Brother star Nikki Graham's mother has revealed she heard her daughter's final breaths over the phone. Nikki died at the age of 38 last year after a long battle with anorexia. The star, who rose to fame on the reality show in 2006, died on April 9, 2021, after being found unconscious at her home. She had been discharged from Dorset County Hospital in Dorchester less than a day earlier, with Sue pleading to go home with her. However, Nikki insisted she wanted some time alone. She told me she would be okay and was going to a recovery clinic in London on the Monday. I had to stay open-minded, Sue explained to OK! Magazine. As it turns out, I was the last person to speak to Nikki. On the day she died, she called me at 3. 30 a.m. to tell me she'd made it to the bathroom with her new walking frame. I said, well done Nikki, take it one step at a time. She replied, I'm so tired, mom. I told her, it's okay, sausage. Close your eyes and go back to sleep. She died in her sleep that night. I'd heard her final breaths. Nikki was found unconscious by her friend later during the day and she called Sue in tears and screamed, she's gone. Following her death, Nikki's close friend Leon D confirmed the tragic news in a statement. It is with great sadness, we have to let you know that our dear friend Nikki passed away in the early hours of Friday 9th April, the statement read. It breaks our hearts to know that someone who is so precious was taken from us at such a young age. Nikki not only touched the lives of millions of people, but also her friends and family who will miss her immensely. We would like to request privacy at this difficult time, while Nikki's friends and family process the sad news. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. A GoFundMe page was also set up as an organization supporting those with anorexia was set up. When Sue arrived at Nikki's flat after she died, she got to spend a final few precious moments with her daughter. Speaking to Sunday Mirror previously, she said, I cuddled her and kissed her little mouth. Because of her OCD, she didn't like me kissing her when she was alive. Then, as her body was being taken away, I stroked her hair and cut some of it, for us to have something to cherish of her. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29